Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Abner. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Marta. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good night, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Bye, teacher. Great, great, great. Excellent. All right, people, it's eight o'clock, so we are just going to wait two more minutes here to see if uh, someone else joins the class. Right, so let's see here. Who is already in? I have, I already say hi to Abner, Anna, and Marta. So we have Mauricio, Nancy, and Oscar. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. All right, excellent. So let's start right now. So everybody, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so and we are going to start with the class tonight. All right, so let's see. Are you ready for a new tongue twister, people? Yes, yes or no? Yes, I'm All ready. Right. So, yeah, yeah sure. let's see this one. All right. What about like uh, a new tongue twister? Mm -hmm. Will be an easy tongue twister or do you want a difficult tongue twister? <laughs> All right. What do you want? I have something here for you. Easy, 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 easy as every day. Just give me one second. Um, I don't know what happens here with the screen, but don't worry. I will figure out right now and I will share it. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's see here. There you go, excellent. Here it is. Sharing the screen right now. Let me know if you can see it, please. Yes? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Great, excellent. Thank you, everybody. So let's just start right now with this activity. And let me just explain to you how it's going, it's going to work. So we are going to practice it, right? I will pronounce it first, and then you are going to uh, repeat it, all right? Este sí es un poquito, es de los más, dif 
not difficult, right? But a little bit more difficult than the previous one. So I'm gonna go and check this for you right now. All right, so it says right here, Betty, repeat it, Betty. 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 But. But. but butter. 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 But. But. but the butter, butter was bitter. Was bitter. All right. So Betty bought. So Betty bought better butter. Better butter. Better butter. To make the bitter. To make, to make the bitter. Butter better. Butter butter butter. Butter. There you go. Excellent. So let me just repeat it again without stop. It will be just like this one. It says, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter. Uh, no. to make the bitter butter better. All right. Easy, easy. Now, it says here, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better okay. butter to make the bitter butter better. Okay. All right, excellent. Okay. So let's see. Let's practice it for a couple of minutes so we can actually um, participate right here. Do we have any volunteers? Some time dollars. to practice. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be my first volunteer? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, practice, 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 practice. All right, remember, then I will select some volunteers here. Remember, it says here, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. One more time. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Volunteer, volunteer. Yo, teacher. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> Uh, very bad butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bad, bitter butter to make the bitter butter better. Almost perfect, all right? So you know what happens is that you pronounce this one como bitter y era better, right? So, but yes, you are doing good, good, good. You want to try again? One more time? Irma? You want to try it again? Otro intento? Okay. All right. <clears throat> very, very bad butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bad, better butter to make the bitter butter better. Excellent. Now, yes, you did it correctly. All right. So thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? It says right here. So we have Atner, Anna, all right, Irma. Oh, Irma already participated. Carla, Maria. Who is it? At the list of it. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. The bad was beaded. So very bad. Very bad to make the beaded bad bad. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was good, good, good. Uh -huh. Next volunteer. Anna, please give me a hand. Help me and select the next person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Anna. Anna, Anna. Mm. Who is the next? Irma. Irma ya pasó. Yes, correct. Permítame. 
Nancy. Uh, Nancy. Uh, Nancy. Nancy. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Very bow butter, but the butter was bitter, so very bowed better butter to make the bitter butter better. Mm, butter. <laughs> All right. Butter. One more time, Nancy. You can do okay. it. Okay. Very bow butter, but the butter was bitter, so very bowed better butter to make the bitter butter better. Excellent. You know what? That was almost perfect, but you need to remember that you don't say butter, you said butter, like with the letter O. Butter. 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 <laughs> exactly. Try one more time. You can do it. Come on. Okay. Very bow, butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bow, bitter, better, butter to make the bitter butter better. Yes, very good, <laughs> okay. excellent. Thank you. Thank you, all right, there you go. So let's see, uh, now you, Nancy, select someone. Okay, Oscar Humberto. All right, Oscar. Oh, he says it's just listening, Nancy. Okay, go ahead, me. One moment, please. Sure. Um, David Inocente. All right. Hello, David. Good evening. No worse. Mm -mm. A Carlita. Oh, I got a volunteer. <laughs> okay. Maria, you're going to be a volunteer after Carlita, okay? Okay. Um, Betty Buck. No. <laughs> Betty Buck butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty Buck better butter to make the bitter butter better. There you go. Excellent. All right. That's actually good, good, good. Hey, Maria, now it's your turn. Okay. Very bow butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bow better butter to make the bitter butter better. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. I like it. All right. Aha, uh -huh. people who have now participated. We have their Apner, we have William. Uh -huh. Volunteer, volunteer, guys. Yo, teacher, a ver si no me traba la lengua. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. Okay. Very Bob, Barrett, but the Barrett was bearded. So very Bob, Barrett, ba, ba, uh, Barrett better to make the bearded, Barrett better. There you go. All right. So you got it correct with the pronunciation. All right. So it's actually for you to keep practicing. ¿verdad? Seguirlo practicando hasta mejorarlo más. All right. But okay. good job with the pronunciation. All right. Okay. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see this one. It says here, no problem, Erlene. Good evening, by the way. Okay, excellent. Thank you, everybody. We are going to stop right here with this one. And now let's go with the topic for today. All right. So let's see here. There you go. There you go. There you go. This one right here. That's this one. Yay, can you see it? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. excellent. All right, just for you to see that this is actually something I got from a previous program, all right? And, and I want you to like, you know, have this one right here, how to use just like the mother verse right here, all right? And for that, for the mother birds, all right? So I want you to like pay attention in how to use it, how to use the mother birds. That's actually super important, right? And yesterday we were talking about the mother birds. Do you remember it? What are the mother birds que vimos ayer? What were the mother birds we studied yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Can. Can you tell me? Can and? Hold you. Hold you. All right. Hold. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. So that is exactly what we're going to uh, be talking about today. So we're going this one right here. Take a look. This is here, the first one. We're talking about this and how to make or how to pay attention to this one. All right. How to use cool for polite informal request. What was like a uh, polite, remember? Amable Cortez. Amable Cortez, very good. Informal, the same as in Spanish, right? And then let's see, do you remember what was the meaning of uh, request? Solicitud. Solicitud. Solicitud pedido, right? Very good, excellent. So we just go for this one right here, all right? So what is a mother verb, right? Because yesterday we were just discussing about would and cool, but I realized that you guys do know how the clear idea about what is a mother verb. And I would like to make sure that you understand what is a mother verb. Um, have you ever seen this before? Ya habían visto exactamente este tema about the mother bird? Yes or no? No. Okay, no problem. All right, so the mother birds son auxiliary birds, so verbos auxiliares, and they actually have a specific meaning or purpose, right? Hay mother birds para hacer a request, all right? Tanto formal como informal, all right? Hay mother verbs para sugerir, suggestions. Hay mother verbs para expresar obligations, all right? And so on. Tonight, we are going to work with two of them. Uh, two of them, like for example, um, mother verbs with like formal requests and informal requests. So the two of them are going to be can and could, right? Those are the two mother verbs that we're going to uh, use today, tonight, sorry. Okay, and first one for today, the first one for today is going to be cool. And then we need to know how to use the mother verbs. In this case right here, to make a question, pay attention to this, to make a question. Es una pregunta, this is gonna be the structure. It's going to be cool plus subject, plus per, and this is super important, people right here, base for verb. No ing, no simple past, nothing. It's going to be the base form, all right? And then we have the complement. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if it is a question, we cannot forget the question mark here, all right? So this is the structure that we are going to use, and then, here you can see some examples of the model verbs that we have right here. Repeat with me here. It says, could you write these reports, please? Go ahead and repeat it. Could you write these reports, please? There you go, excellent. Can someone tell me how do you translate that question into Spanish? Exactly, thank you very much, all right? So, or what about the second question that we have right there? It says, could you deliver these letters today, please? Go ahead and repeat it. Could you, could you deliver these letters today, please? Thank you very much, all right? And how do you say that in Spanish? Mm -hmm. That is absolutely correct. All right. Thank you for helping me with that. All right. So this is just going to be like the structure. Ahorita estamos viendo cómo es la structure de una question. Understand? How to use it with questions. All right. Then, um, let's see this one here. We continue with this one. And the same structure is going to be here for... The modal verb can, all right? As you can see it here. You see? Can, can, can. Now, what is the difference between cool or can? Well, I'm going to explain this right now, but I want you to pay attention to the structure. The structure, it's exactly the same, all right? So the structure doesn't change. 
it's exactly the same right here. Now, we are going to actually go here and uh, review something else. I'll tell you what happens right now here. One second. All right, this is part of the material that I have been preparing for you here. So we can check it out. You'll see. Okay, it says here, where is it? This one. Okay, let me know if you can see this one right here. Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So this one is about mother birds, and we have exactly the mother birds can and the mother bird cool. So we are going to understand the differences between the two of them. How do we use it, right? In that way, you are going to be able to see the different usages that they have right here. So for example, in the previous um, slide, the presentation before, all right, so pudimos ver que eran los Mother birds, para qué uso? Qué uso le estábamos dando en esos examples? Uh -huh. For a request. For request, you know, and here you have it. Request and also here, request. And as you can see, it is only one of the uses that they have. So it means that they have more than one, right? No solamente se utilizan los mother birds, to talk about request, all right? Sino que hay varios usos. There are many, many usages. And I want you to check this with me right now. Okay, for example, it says right here, let's go with the first one here, and it's going to be this one, all right? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one right here. All right, so it says ability, buddy. Ability, repeat it. Ability. There you go, excellent. So with the ability. So the ability, as you can see here, it will be in uh, present and in past. Ahí está una de las primeras diferencias, right? So we're talking about the abilities. A, a model verb can is para hablar acerca de habilidades. In present and the model verb could, it's to talk about abilities in the past, all right? Abilities like what, all right? So, ¿qué es una ability? What is an ability, people? Mm -hmm. Hello? Capacidad. Una capacidad, una habilidad, basically, right? Something that you are good at. I don't know que eres muy bueno. Now, um, in this one right here, as you can see here in the example, it says right here, I can speak four languages. How do you say that into Spanish, people? Exactly, that's an ability in present, something I can do right now. All right, que otros examples, what other examples could you provide usando can to talk about abilities in present? Uh -huh. What other examples could you provide? A ver, give me examples. I can eat four pupusas. Oh my God, good ability. I have the ability too, <laughs> right? So very good. Uh -huh. What else? Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. I can do tortas mexicanas. Mm -hmm. Tota Mexicana is amazing, right? All right, so we're going to order some tortas for the next class. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. I can play the guitar. I can play the guitar. Super good, right? Eh, para preguntar, eh, I mean, play de la hora de tocar un instrumento, right? So that was actually very good. Uh -huh. What about the rest, people? Hoy todo el mundo está oyendo. I can see everybody oyendo today. Oh, my God. Pero ni que está lloviendo. All right. So let's see here. Let me see who is not oyente tonight. Let's see. Eh, Ana Luisa, the already participated. Ana Luisa. Hello, Ana Luisa. Hello. 
Good evening, Ana Luisa. Can you please provide me with an example using um, abilities in present? Me voy conectando, pero. Oh my God. Ya venimos con usted entonces. I'll be back in a moment. All right. So let's see this one. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Irma. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. All right. Give an example using the um, abilities. Hello, Irma. I can. Uh, I can break what Turkey. I can. I can break with with Turkey. Wow. Okay. Mm, mm, I can bread. It's like what? Ornear, you trying to say? Or yes, ornear. Yes. Ah, all right. So the word would be bake. I can bake turkeys. Repeat it. Maybe it's mine. All right. So let me let me let me text it here in the chat so you can see it. All right. I can bake turkeys. Ooh, delicious for Christmas. Like that. Repeat it. I can bake turkeys. Turkey. There you go. Excellent. So, turkeys, yes. I can cook chicken, it says William Giovanni. All right. Mm, I can play soccer, Mr. Antonio. All right. Ah, we can then. You don't want to talk. All right. So, just chat. All right. Very good. Excellent. And then we talk about like um, the abilities in the past. All right. So, which is, <coughs> excuse me. Which is actually, oh my God, the dynamic tables. Oh my God, this is so difficult, um, Elizabeth and Elizabeth. So, so difficult. Oh my goodness. Yes. All right. Um, uh -huh, Ana Luisa, now you got it. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, Ana Luisa or Ana Elizabeth? No, Ana Luisa. Okay, it is a can you make uh, dinner or mm -hmm. excellent? Don't worry, Luisa, that's fine. What happens right here is what I was telling at the beginning, right? ¿Qué sucede con lo que acaba de, eh, del example que nos acaba de dar, Ana Luisa? Está correct, it's correct, Ana Luisa. Don't worry, está correct, all right? pero solo conocían ustedes los modal verbs como para pedir algo, right? Como lo acaba de solicitar Ana Luisa. Can you please prepare or cook dinner? All right. Pero ahorita, Anita, estamos eh, viendo que tienen más usos. They have more usages. All right. El primero de ellos es el de habilidad. Es decir, yo puedo hacer algo. All right. So, how do you say manejar, people? I can ride it. Wow, right. exactly. ¿Cómo diría Ana Luisa? Yo puedo manejar. Eh, así I can. I can drive. I can drive. Exactly. That is correct. All right. Very good. Don't worry. Es un buen trabajo con el ejemplo anterior. Solo que era para otro tipo de uso. All right. So, but don't worry. It was actually correct. Okay. Es que yo vi la flechita, teacher. Pero pensé que en esa iba. Perdón. <laughs> don't worry. Aquí tenemos un montón de flechitas también. All right. So, the beginning. Okay. All right, and thank you. Thank you for participating, all right? Okay, you see? This is what happens right here. Creo, now I have to clarify something. Alguien por ahí me dijo un ejemplo, can. Like the A uh, in Spanish, can. And what happens with this one? There is what, la palabra can tiene doble pronunciation and doble meaning. 
All right, so can means poder. All right, the abilities. And also can means lata. Right, like lata, like soda. Yes, that's the, the situation right here. What happens right here? El can, de lata, de habilidad, se pronuncia can. All right, like this one. Y el can, de lata, se pronuncia can. Así. All right, understand? Es la misma palabra. It's the same word. All right, so, pero tiene double meaning, doble significado, and double pronunciation. All right, so, entonces, ¿cuál de las dos pronunciaciones vamos a utilizar? Which pronunciation are we going to use? Can. Can. Can, exactly. Yeah. All right, así que la can, mm -mm, prohibida. All right, so, Great, great, great. Excellent. So let's say this one. Vámonos con cool. Do cool, 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 cool. Abilities in the past. All right. So talking about abilities that you had in the past, but you don't do anymore in the present. All right. So let's see. How to say, for example, yo podía correr rápido. Mm -hmm. Hello. I could run fast. Great job. You did it correctly. All right. So I could run fast. All right. Good. Thank you. So will be like una habilidad que yo tenía en pasado, but I don't have anymore. All right. Si usted se fija, if you pay attention to this one, la diferencia entre yo puedo correr rápido y yo podía correr rápido no está en el verbo correr, está en el modal verb. All right, so like I can run fast. So that would be, yo puedo correr rápido. All right, I could run fast. That would be, yo podía oops, correr rápido. You see, those are the examples right there. All right, so you could use either or, but you talk about this one. ¿Cómo sé que estoy en pasado? ¿Cómo sé que estoy en presente? A través de el modal verb can or could. All right, questions? No questions? Sí, teacher, teacher este, si uno lo pone solo el I could, eh, no, no, no sale bien. Yo pongo en I, no es así. I'm sorry, what was the question? I am. Es que se pone I am, ¿verdad? No. I am. Entonces, al revés, en I. No. Se pone la estructura. I. La estructura dice nada más, what was it, all right? It's about the structure. Veamos. You see this one? Este es para las questions, right? Sí. Es una pregunta, igual para hacer una oración en afirmativa o negativa, all right? Entonces, iría nada más el verbo en su forma base. No lleva verbo to be, no lleva nada. All right? So, es nada más es eh, el verbo así. For example, eh, William, ¿qué quisieras decir ahorita utilizando el verbo para ayudarte? So, I can help you. Yo podía coser, por decirlo así. Yo podía. Coser, coser de. Ropa. Sí. Close. All right. Good. Excellent. So, I could see you. You know? Because coser, el verbo coser is you. All right. So, this one. Entonces, yo podía coser. So, what happens, for example, William, if you want to say, William, ¿cómo se dice? Um, bueno, lo dijimos antes. Manejar. How do you say manejar? Right. Muy bien. ¿Cómo dirías tú? Yo podía manejar. I could drive. That's it? All right. That's all. That's all. All right. You got it? Es que me he confundido porque cuando lo pongo a veces en el traductor, cuando yo siempre lo, lo veo, pero no me, sal, me salía diferente lo que ya no, ya no decía. Yo podía, sino que 
uh, así, ya no sé. Pero que cuando le puse el, la M, contracción M y, y la I, entonces sí me salía, yo podía. No, eh, porque la, la contracción de la I y la M, I am or am, all right, que significa yo soy o yo estoy. All right. So don't worry. If you have questions, I can help you with that one. All right. So we can have one on one and you can, um, you know, clarify those questions. All right. Great. Okay. Excellent. So let's see this one right here. Let's continue with this one. Imagine. So le damos un uso, people. There are a lot. All right. So very good. Let's just continue with this one. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. All right. So we're talking now about possibilities, possibilities, possibilities as well in past and in present right here. All right. So then possibilities in present. All right. So there is something that we need to understand here. Right? For possibilities, hay otros modal verbs que son más usados para possibilities. All right. Sin embargo, can and cool también, they can also be used for possibilities. Right. So Then, for example, take a look to the lines that we have right here. It says, alcohol, repitamos this one, everybody. Alcohol. Alcohol. Can cause cancer. Can cause cancer. Alcohol can cause cancer. Alcohol can cause cancer. There you go. All right, excellent. So, Why is this a possibility? Because no siempre va a ser así. I mean, no es que el hecho de que like, you drink alcohol automatically you get cancer. It can happen depending on your body or depending on different situations, right? So, entonces, that's why it's a possibility. Or, for example, imagine that uh, the door is closed. La puerta está cerrada. And then, oímos algo como, no sabemos quién es. Y yo puedo decir, ¿cómo podría decir entonces? Puede ser William. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. How do you say puede ser William? Call me William. Mm -hmm. Because I said puede ser William. Maybe William, be William. Maybe sería tal vez. Y estamos usando el can. Mm -hmm. What would that be? Mm -hmm. Can be William. Can be William, all right. Or like this one. It can be William. ¿Por qué it? Porque yo no sé quién es el que está tocando la puerta. Puede ser él o puede ser ella. Entonces, mejor usamos it porque yo asumo que puede ser William. Ahora, yo puedo usar exactamente la misma oración y cambiarle a cool. Like this one. It could be William. ¿Y qué estaría diciendo yo? En lugar de decir puede ser William, I can be saying podría ser William. Understand? Yes. All right, excellent. So don't worry, people. This is not difficult, right? So solamente depende de qué es lo que quieras decir o cómo lo quieres decir. All right. If you want to say, puede ser William, it can be William. If you want to say, podría ser William, it could be, it could be William. All right. So that's basically like the whole thing here. Questions about this? Mm -hmm. How do you say, vamos a ver en el chat, everybody to the chat. How do you say, la pizza podría saber feo? El verbo saber sería taste. La pizza podría saber feo. Mm -hmm. I bet it's the chat. It says right here. The pizza could taste bad. Uh -huh. Pizza might taste bad. 
Ok, María, me usó un modaber ahí que no iba. Ja, ja, ja. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> All right, don't worry. This might take what? Bueno, fijémonos en el example. Excuse me, María, aquí le vamos a dar de example. All right. Eh, it says right here, María utilizó un modaber que se llama might. Ese might bien se utiliza o es el más común, mejor dicho, para expresar posibilidades. All right? Entonces, por eso es que a la hora de traducir es lo primero que te sale. Might or, or may. All right? Pero también se puede utilizar con could o con can, as well as possibilities. All right? So, Maria, el example está good. Solamente que usa otro modal verb. All right? So, don't worry. Okay. All right? Excellent. So, thank you guys. You got it correctly. Then, Permission, permission, permissions. All right. Everybody, repeat it with me. Permissions. Repeat it. Permission. 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 Exactly. Permission. All right. So the word permission, that's in Spanish, right? Cuando estoy pidiendo permiso about something here. All right. So now, can I actually, for example, this one, can I use your book, please? Repeat it, everybody. Can I use this? Thank you very much. All right. So, and the question here is like, um, the question here is like, how can I say how how do you say that into Spanish? Mm -hmm. How do you say that in Spanish, people? Can I use your book, please? ¿Cómo me podría pasar ese libro? Mm, mm, mm. Vaya, chicos. Lo primero, lo primerito that we need to remember, lo más importante es que can significa puedo. Poder. Y que puedo could significa tomar libro, podría. Por favor. All right. So, puedo usar right, tu libro. Puedo usar su libro. Excuse me. All right. Uh -huh. uh, one more time, please. Puedo, puedo usar su libro, por favor. Exactly, 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 exactly. All right. That was absolutely good. All right. Now, how can you say in English? In English, how do you say in English? Puedo usar tu teléfono. Can I use your phone? Can I use your phone? Can I use your phone? But what happens? Oh, good evening, Mr. Moth. All right. Uh, how do you say, for example, podría usar tu teléfono? Could I use your phone? Could I, I use, could use your phone? Use exactly, your because phone? I am uh, just like using the modal verb there. All right. So very good, very good. And then you go on this one. Anything else, people? How do you say, for example, podrías pasarme un lápiz? Could you pass a pencil? A pencil. Ah, ¿Puedes pasarme un lápiz? How do you say that? Could you pass me a pencil? Puede? Can you Could pass you... me a pencil? Can yay. you pass me a pencil? Yay, 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 yay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Creo que eso es como la, la clave, people. You know, to memorize yes. what's the meaning of cool and what's the meaning of can. All right. Good, good, good. Excellent. So let's say this one right here. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? Y poner atención a esto acá entre... ¿Puedes pasarme y podrías pasarme? Aquí dice que es informal, but personally, yo personalmente no lo llamaría como informal porque algo informal es algo que doesn't sound good. Yo lo llamaría como algo estándar, you know, a regular question. Y el, per, el polite, que es pre cool, es algo así un poquito más formal, more formal, because you can ask that to people that you don't know, for example, all right? Um, then we go for the request right here. Bueno, las request las practicamos desde ayer. Con can y con could. All right. So, but igual, do you have questions about um, the request? ¿Acá alguna pregunta sea de las questions, de las requests? No. But good. Aquí sí le vamos a pedir a Ana Luisa que nos ayude con una request. O si está buena request. 
on a lui seul. Ok, ok. <laughs> uh, can you make a uh, bread? Can you make bread? All right, excellent. So like this one. All right, ¿y cómo sería una, eh, una request más formal? Como la escribimos anoche, like the one we checked last night. For example, ¿podrías imprimir el reporte? How do you say that? The call uh, prints a re re report. The report, exactly. Could you print the report? The report. All right, thank you. So let's see this one. And then we are going to uh, see the next one, que sería siempre de, eh, con que you could offer. Como una offer, mira, una oferta. Promotions, maybe? No, it's when you offer your help. Por ejemplo, for example, I have told you before, ya les he dicho, guys, if you have questions, you know, I can help you with that, All right? Or, for example, este es muy, muy, muy común, la frase que tenemos here, miren, en customer service. Can I help you? Repeat it, buddy. Can I help you? Can, Can I, I help you? Can I help you? Exactly. So, for example, if you are in a store and you are just, you know, checking the clothes and everything else, you know, se te va a acercar siempre una chica y te va a decir, hi, good morning, good evening. Can I help you? Right, you say así como like, no, so I'm the watching, right? So, good, things like that. All right, uh, let's just continue with this one. Um, suggestion, aquí sí ya tenemos un uso diferente de ambos, you know, like suggestion here. Uh, this one, it's just like that. I could help you with English. I could uh, recommend you a series. I could, um, you know, I could do this for you, como una sugerencia, all right? So, for example, imagine this case, all right? Imaginémonos que Nancy tiene que presentar un report tomorrow, right? Pero Nancy is sick. So she's sick. She got like cough, <laughs> all right? So, and then I said like, Nancy, don't worry. I could help you with the report. Yo te sugiero, Nancy, que te puedo ayudar a la misma vez una offer with the report. So I can use it like that, all right? Yes, 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 yes. All right, excellent. Y este de aquí, como sea el último que vamos a ver, it will be eh, el negativo, all right? So, hemos estado hablando de like only affirmative sentences. Yo puedo, pod podría, right? Excellent, all right? But then how do you say no puedo? Veamos. People, how do you say yo no puedo hablar francés? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. No. French. 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 Como la papa French. Yes. All right. So, good. And how do you say, for example, um, yo no puedo manejar? I can't. I can't write. Right. Can't exactly. Right. Write. And then you I need to pay attention write. to this one. Usted puede decir, I cannot separado, all right, or you can use a contraction and say it can't. Can't, can't, can't. All right, excellent. Y, well, ese de aquí, people, si lo vamos a dejar para otro tema, porque esto sí es un poquito más avanzado, una estructura más avanzada. All right, see, I don't want to confuse you more, all right. Así que este, mm -mm, lo vamos a dejar ahí, all right, como un big, ahí después. All right, like this. All right. Yes, I don't want to confuse you with this one. Questions, people? No questions? No questions for me? I have a lot of questions for you. <laughs> All right. Excellent, excellent. So give me one second. I'm just going to um, change the screen. Right, and you got this one. Oops, here it is. Let me just delete all those things right here. Can you see it now, the new screen? Yes? Yes. 
messages. Excellent. Yes. But here again, tenemos la estructura, right? De cómo se usa. You can take a screenshot of this one. Eso te va a dar mejor a entender la structure, right? So tenemos here the affirmative ones. All right. So you see here. Uh, let's see. Here is. This is just uh, what I see here. It's just like the affirmative ones. Affirmative. All right. So it says like I can or I could. All right. So then we have the negative forms right here. Can and could. All right. So then the question structure. Then the can and could van primero. Then the subjects y luego el verbo siempre en forma base. Y las respuestas. Si digo que sí o digo que no. So yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I could. No, I couldn't, for example. All right. So there you have those things right here. And you can actually, um, you know, use these structures right here. Les recomiendo take a picture para que les quede ahí esa. O si no se las mando yo, no problem. All right, in the group later. Okay, what are we going to do? Como ustedes no tienen questions for me, you don't have questions for me. I have questions for you. All right, let's see this one right here. Take a look. All those questions for you here. All right, so let's see. Let's see those questions that we have right here. Let me see. All right, what are we going to do? People, this is very simple. Aquí hay una de dos options, one or two options, right? Can or cool. I'm going to help you only with number one and number two. They got the mass, all yours. Todas suyas. All right. So let's see. For example, this one right here. Oops. I'm sorry. It says number one, it says, I go to the party last night. Yeah, super important. Tenemos una pista. Last night because I was sick. ¿Cuál era? Couldn't. Could. Couldn't. Negativo. Couldn't. Could. I can't. I can't. Okay. O sea, yo no pude ir a la fiesta. Tenemos dos options. Acuerdo que escuchar aquí. Tenemos can y tenemos couldn't. Escuché yo también ahí. Dividido. Sí, All right. So, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Can or couldn't? Couldn't porque es pasado. Yes, that is correct. All right. It's couldn't porque la respuesta está aquí, eh. All right, last night, sorry. Last night. Ahí está la respuesta. All right, eso nos indica que es pasado. Y para pasado mm -hmm. utilizamos... Pude. Could. Y como es negativo, no puede ir a la fiesta. All right, so we leave it like that. I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. Very good. What about number two? Number two, number two. Es como un mini diálogo esa misma, all right? Yes, yes, yes. You can. 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 All right. So sería can, 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 Yes or no, people? Yes. That is correct, porque esa es la question. Y respondo con, yes, he is. All right? Puede no él cocinar comida italiana. That's what the question is right here is. All right? So, questions. No questions? No questions? No questions. Entonces, nos vamos a los breakout rooms right now to continue with this one. Toma el screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. Yes, 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 screenshot or, oops, ahí estamos. All right, excellent. Screenshot or photo. Are you ready? Yes, okay, let's see this one. There you go, here you go, excellent. Remember, los que están de oyentes, please try to enter al breakout room to cooperate or para siempre estar pendiente de la activity, all right? Let's go, everybody. Let's go to the breakout room. All right, all right. Breakout room, breakout room. Mm
let's see who else time Alone. Oh, here, man. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, Mauricio. What happened? No, just a salió. No problem. Ahorita lo entendimos por no. alguien. All right. Okay. Where are you, Mauricio? Room number three. There you go, Mauricio. Everybody working together. Perfect. So I will go ahead and check room number one. Yes. Good and good and hello. <laughs> Hello, Hello, teacher. Cuden en a cinco sería. You read the thing you wrote. Yes. Cuden, no. Number five. No, no, no sería negativo. Creo. Sí. Ah, perdón, could. Cool, cool, uh -huh. cool, you. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ken, can you feel? ¿Qué le está preguntando que si puede leer? Mm -hmm. Eso le está preguntando, ¿verdad? Desde bueno, que tenía cuatro les, años. Les ayudo ahí. Ahí hay una palabra clave, all right? Que es ah, la palabra oh, where, for. You know, they say where? En la cinco, ¿verdad? Right? Number five. Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, number pasado, five, ¿verdad? where for. Entonces ahí estamos hablando de una edad, pero en pasado. Porque ahí estamos diciendo, mm. tú tenías cuatro años. Desde que tenía cuatro años. Ajá. Entonces ahí, what happens? Sería. Por diez. Por diez. Good. Good porque mm. está hablando en pasado, ¿no? Correct. Mm -hmm. Eh, sí. Y en la quiero ver. Ye, y la respuesta sería yes, I could, ¿verdad? Correct. Okay. La seis. Y en, en, en la seis sería Ken, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ken Ray the Bicycle. En las siete, I am very tired. Uh -huh. Estoy cansado yeah, porque funny. yo... ¿Sería Ken? Ken. Porque lo va a hacer en el momento, en las siete. I can't, I can't. I'm very tired, so I can't... Right, so what is tired? Cansado. Cansado. Ah, entonces, is that something positive or negative? Negativo. All right, so I am tired, so... Ah, I, I can't. I can't go uh -huh. out. Exactly. All right. Oh, no, no va a salir al parque. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver. En la ocho sería. No, en la noche. Cool. Cool. Porque es la noche pasada. Can okay, you see? Could sería ahí entonces. Which one? Sí. Number nine? And the eight. 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 Yes, that is correct. Good. Y sería no, I could. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Couldn't or couldn't? Couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't, because it's negative, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver en la nueve. Dice when, when, cuando. When. Mm -hmm. 
I talk to you about the company. Sería right. uh -huh. could when I went to Pod could. Sí, porque es podrías. Cuando podrías hablar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Acerca del reporte. Entonces sería could. Could be could. Eh... Okay, and be también. No sé no, qué que... sería, ¿verdad? Ahí puede ser, este, cuando puedes, cuando puedo hablar contigo acerca de la compañía o cuando podría hablar contigo acerca de la compañía. En ambos casos son correctos, depending on how you ah, say it, ¿verdad? Can or could. Por ejemplo, okay. well, imagine, si ustedes son coworkers, you know, Ana mm -hmm. and Carla trabajan, they work in the same company. Entonces ahí, you can say, entre ustedes puede decir, hey, for example, Ana, When can I talk to you about the company? Porque son coworkers. Pero si usted se va a dirigir a un jefe, for example, ya no podría ser can, porque es algo un poquito más formal, right? Entonces ahí le cambiamos el could uh -huh. para que hacerlo un poquito más formal. Excuse me, when could I talk to you about the company report? Es la única difference. Ahí la idea es the same, basically. Ok, podríamos dejarlo como could para que se escuche más. All right, no problem. Formal. I will go to a different yeah. room, people. I'll be back if you need help. All right? Okay, okay teacher. Same. Cool. Uh huh. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Questions, questions? Mm. No. Which one are you analyzing? What number? 11. 11. So let's see. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Right now, I can hear I can. you right now. So you say can, like, can. Affirmative or can't? Can't. Affirmative. Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. Are you sure? Can. Yes. Yes. All right. Le doy una pista. Donde dice the music is too loud. ¿Qué es loud? Um, it's cold. Cool. Mm -mm. Loud, it's no. loud. Understand? Muy fuerte. Yes. Entonces, ¿me puedo o no me puedo escuchar? Ah. Uh. Excuse me, I think here right now the music is too loud. No. I couldn't say it. I can't. I can't. No puedo escucharte ahora. Exactly. Right? Porque dice ahora. Uh huh. Can't. Uh -huh. Very good. You got it. You got it. Questions, questions? No. Okay. So I will go to a different group. And if you have questions, just call me. I'll be back. All right? Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Here. La. La. Tengo la duda de esa. Sure. Yeah, sure. I can see my picture there. Eh, okay. Tenemos la duda en la en la en la nueve. Bueno, no he hecho. Uh -huh. Why? Eh, entonces no sabemos si es Ken. Mm -hmm. It says right here. Espérame que no puedo ver. Voy a compartir yo mi imagen. All right. Number eight, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it says right here, number eight. All right, it says this one. Ah, aquí está la clave, miren. Ah, no, 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 perdón, teacher, sorry, era la... Eight. Nine. 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 Mm. Nine. Mm -mm. All right. Ah, all right, perfect. De hecho, sí, I was explaining that to a different group. Eh, les decía, aquí puede ser can 
o puede ser could. Les explico cuál es la diferencia. La difference, imagínense que ustedes, Irma y Mauricio, you work together. Ustedes son coworkers, workers right? Entonces, si la conversación es entre ustedes, sería como, when can I talk to you about the company report? Creo que son compañeros de trabajo, entonces no hay como una jerarquía. But what happens si les toca hablar con un jefe? Right? Ahí tendría que ser un poquito más formal. Entonces, tendríamos que ponerle, when could I talk to you about the company report? Ambas son correctas en ese caso. Dependerá del contexto en el que se dé. Ajá, sí, porque, o sea, no entendíamos ah. por qué era como que hacía como una pregunta. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, la única diferencia ahí sería eh, qué tan formal quiero hacer la pregunta. Si la quiero hacer muy formal, le pongo cool. ¿Es para un compañero de trabajo igual que yo? So, entonces, Ken. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right, exactly. So don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Any other? No? No. No problem. So I'll stop here. They share so you can continue sharing your screen. All right, I will go to a different room. All right. En la 12 estamos, ¿verdad? 11. Ajá, in English, entonces 11. In English in English. <laughs> Excuse me, I cannot hear you right now. The music is so loud. Uh -huh. Cannot. Sería cannot. Correct. Hola. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, las 11 sería K not. K not. K not. K A 12 dice, I can try a group. One. Yo fui solo. Yo podría manejar. Yo mm. pude manejar un camión. Pude. Cuando yo tenía 16 años. Entonces. I can sería. I could. Can. Very good. Sería I could. Hola. Questions, questions? Sí, vamos por la dos. Ya casi. Oh, great, excellent. Y William <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> well. Okay, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. All right. Ah. Okay. Entonces, la uh, 12 sería I could try a sí. truck. Sí. Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Douglas hit that tree because he stole his car. Right. He can, Sería. Yeah. He can, he can, can stop his, his car. car. He cannot. Can. Cannot. His car. Uh, can, can. Douglas golpeó el, el árbol porque él no pudo detener el carro. There you go. Excellent. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ahí es uno. En la catorce. 
14 cold. Ah. ¿Cómo? Questions, questions. No, for the moment. All right, no problem. I'll go to a different room in case you need help. Just let me know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. 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 Hey, Sonia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. How hey. are you? I'm back. <laughs> yes. I'm fine, thank you. Great. I'm practicing with Ana Luisa. Excellent. Do you have questions? Um, no, teacher. No, no okay. Hmm. Okay. Seguimos uh, practicando. ¿Cuál era? Yes. ¿Cuál seguía? En las cinco se quedó. En las cinco íbamos. Ah, en las cinco. Eh, uh -huh. Sería. Oh, aquí ahí? está. Professor, I can help you in the 14. 14. All right. So, how, how many, many hot dogs? Uh -huh. Porque yo había dicho Ken, mm -hmm. pero ellos dijeron Kud, y yo dije, yo no veo diferencia entre Ken y Kud en la 14. All right, excellent. Bueno, la 14 vendría siendo así como la, veamos dónde está ese, creo que era la 9. Yes. ¿Qué tienen en la 9 ustedes? Number 9. La 9. Uh -huh. 9. Number nine. ¿Qué tienen en el nueve? Ken or cool? William. William, las anotaciones. William. No, 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 no. Yo no las tenía. No. Hey, Sería when. Pedimos. ¿Cuándo Pedimos. podría yo? Ahí creo que pusimos cool. when could I talk to you about the company report porque report. lo está preguntando algo formal podría ser exactly right so like this one entonces ahí me acabas de dar la respuesta Mose alright so pero estás preguntando algo formal alright so el cambio de los hot dogs it's formal or informal informal no sé it's informal <laughs> no lo vas a decir a tu jefe mire jefe cuántos hot dogs do you eat ¿verdad? No, está okay, entonces sería Ken. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Volvamos okay. a iniciar para recordar las respuestas. Si oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I... Sí, sorry, pensé que lo habían anotado como estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Sí, nos confundimos todos, creo. Ah. Ay. Entonces la quince sería I cannot, va. Eh, entonces, eh, volvamos. no sé si la podemos volver a hacer. El nombre... Number three. Me ya vengo. Okay. Hello, Sandra. Hello. De verdad no las anotó usted. No, 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 no las anoté tampoco. Oh my God. Bye. 
La, entonces empecemos otra vez. Las nombres tres dijimos, dijimos que era de Kudenberg. Yo siento que yo como eh, en, en Ken en negativo. Ken. 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 Ah. Es como el mismo Ken, pero con un sonido de T al final. Ken. Con T al final. Correct. Ah, sí, porque en la, en la última es como que. De ten, en Ken. No tiene. De no tiene. ¿Verdad? En la, en la 15. La 15. Sí. Ajá. Exacto. Y no puedo leer sin mis lentes. ¿Dónde están? Dice ahí. Sería de, 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 de Kant. Kant, de tener. De tener. ¿Cómo es? De poder. De, 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 de poder. Que no puede leer, uh -huh. pero en negativo. Exactly, no. Kent. Kent. Ah, ah. O lo puede decir separado, right? Can not. Oh. Ah, okay. Listo. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Vamos a regresar ya a los a los breakup rooms. I mean, a la main session, all right? Ahí lo veo ya. All right, welcome back, everybody. All right. Oh, look at this, Mr. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Hello. Mm -hmm. So is it this one? Excellent, excellent. Very good. There you go, everybody. Thank you very much. Presence says Kevin. <laughs> right. So thank you. All right. So everybody, welcome back to the uh, main class. All right. So we are going to see what it, what are the answers right now. All right. So do you see the screen, people? James. Yes. Sí, yes, yes. Lista. <laughs> Eso le iba a preguntar. ¿Qué si pasó asistencia? Porque vimos que Kevin puso precio. No. No sé, right. en que estuvimos en otro grupo. Paso lista. No, no, no. What happens is that I say, Good evening, Kevin. Y Kevin automatically says, Present. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's what happens. All right. So. There you go on this one. So let's see. Volunteer here for number three, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello, hello. Who? My sister called swim last year, but now she called. Mm -hmm. Remember that this is no cold, porque cold is como de llamada o más, suena más como a frío, right? Good. So cool, so we be cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Sandra, good. right? Good. All right, excellent. So, but now she, ¿cuál era aquí? I'm sorry, no le escuché. Ken. Ken. Thank you, thank you. But now she can. Don't worry. Ahorita la arreglo. Sorry. Oops. Couldn't. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Number four. Number four. Number four. They, they, they couldn't. 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 They couldn't.
Um, all right, I will appreciate if you can raise your hand so I can pay attention to only one person. Who's gonna be this one? Uh -huh. Raise your hand, please. Mr. Mose, all right. Hello? Uh, okay. Uh, they couldn't go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. 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 Exactly. Very good. Closed. Thank you. Uh, Thank, okay. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mouse. That was actually correct. Yes or no, people? Of course it is correct. Porque aquí dice yesterday. Yes, yesterday, yesterday. So let's see this one right here. Thank you. Oh, Carla. Hello, Carla. Number five. Hello, teacher. Um, could you read when you were four years old? Yes, I could. I could. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. That was actually nice. Number six, Ana Luisa. Okay. Uh, Ellie and... Uh, can ride a bike. Mm -hmm. She rides is to a school every day. Excellent. There you go. All right. What about number seven? Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. Tell okay. me. Okay. Um, I'm very tired, so I can't go out to the park to play. I can't go out to the park to play, all right? Very good, thank you. Solo hay que tener mucho cuidado con el sonido final de la T, right? Para que sepamos que es negative. Can't, to the final sound, all right? Thank you, all right? Anybody else, volunteer? Sony again. <laughs> no, right. no, no, sorry. No problem, all right, another volunteer? Uh, William and Elizabeth. Oh, and Elizabeth is here. All right, Elizabeth, tell me number eight. Could you see the moon last night? Could you see the moon? The moon, uh, the moon last night. No, I couldn't. Couldn't. Excellent. There you go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Next one, next one, number nine. Thank you, Anna. Super good job. All right. Next, next, next. Hello. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sure. All right, Irma. Thank you. Uh, when can I talk to you about the company report? There you go, excellent. Hey, this is controversial. I have here can, all right? So people, can, yes or no? Yes. No. Okay, someone said no. Can you tell me why? I guess it was Mr. Mose, right? Why not uh, Mr. Mose? Yes. Uh, you say to me in the chat rooms because sure. can mm. is... <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes uh, it was can because good sorry because it's a uh, like formal because in the conversation they are talk about the report and there a hot dogs go. is can. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, that is correct. Eh, bueno, a Mr. Mose y también a Irma, pues explicaba que ahí podría ser de las dos formas. All right, so, ahora, ¿por qué nos quedamos mejor con cool? Como dijo Mr. Moss, all right, so, a pesar de que, for example, in, my, in this case right here, si es una conversation between two co-workers, eh, dos compañeros de trabajo, it can perfectly be can, porque no hay una formalidad entre compañeros de trabajo, right? So, but what happens si yo me quiero dirigir, sorry, I want to talk to the manager, for example, or the boss, right? Ahí tengo que ser un poco más formal y tengo que usar eh, el cool. 
lo vamos a dejar con cool porque es una pregunta de trabajo. Right? So about the report. Aunque usted puede perfectamente utilizar can eh, if you're talking to a coworker. All right? Understand? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, de hecho, para aclarar este mismo punto, me voy a saltar a la número 14. All right. So, a la number 14. Um, Mr. Mose, can you help me with number 14, please? Okay. Uh, how many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Thank you very much. All right. So, that would be like Ken. Aquí usamos Ken y la 14 en the number 14. The number 14 and the number 9 are very similar. All right. En ambos casos, usted podría utilizar Ken o Cool. All right. Pero ¿por qué no decidimos por esta respuesta final? All right. So, it's actually uh, the reason is very simple. La conversation acerca de aquí habla company report y la conversation de aquí habla acerca de hot dogs. Entonces, hay una conversación que es un poco más formal que la otra. Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the reason why. All right. In this case right here, we are going to use uh, can and cool in those cases. Thank you. Thank you. And that was correct as well. Thank you, Mr. Mose. Thank you, Irma. Very good. Next one. Carla Milena. Thank you, Carla. Go ahead, please. Ten. And most dinosaurs walked on land. What? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh -huh. <laughs> And most, most dinosaurs walked on land, but some could. Ya no puedo ver lo demás, teacher. Oh, let me see, let me see. Because I'm writing here. So what was the first option? Cool, right? Yes, could right. um, fly or even swim. Or even swim. Excellent. Thank you. Yes or no, people? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. Excellent. What about the next one, number 11? Thank you, Carlita. Good job. Mm -hmm. Number 11, 11. Ana Elizabeth. Uh, okay, perdón. Mm -hmm, surprise! <laughs> I, I can, excuse me, I can't hear you right now. So that will be can't. can't. Uy. <laughs> like that. All right. I can't hear you right now. Yes or no, people? You, you, yes. yes. Excellent. All right. It says right here. Thank you, Anna. Number 12. Okay. And Nancy, where is Nancy? Ah, hello, Nancy. All right. Can you help hey, us? Here. <laughs> uh, I could drive oh. a truck when I was only 16 years old. Very good. I could drive a truck. Truck, truck, truck. Ahí la uso como like, oh, all right. Thank you. All right, excellent. Kim, I'm having here this one. Mr. Rano, what is Mr. Rano? Hello. Uh -huh. Ah, Mr. Mauricio Rano, hello. With the microphone, he says no working, all right? So what a coincidence. I can't, I can't read without my reading glasses. Where are they? Oh, thank you, Maria. I guess there was 15, right? The last one. Yes, the last one. All right, excellent. So, but we were just here with, um, you know, well, mm -hmm. bueno, falta una, people, we're missing one. What is it? Um, couldn't. All right. So we go on this one right here. I can't read and do less hit three, hit the three because he couldn't. Couldn't. 
Excellent, 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 excellent. Thank you, everybody. So you did a very, very good job. All right, excellent. So questions about this? No questions? Yes or no, people? No? All right, excellent. So let's do this one right here. So ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to practice with the conversation. Conversation, conversation time. All right, let's have role play, role play, role play. Here you have it. Can you see it, people? Yes? Yes. Great, yes. excellent. So we're gonna go on this one right here and it says, it says read says, we are going to practice this conversation. I'm going to repeat it for you and then you practice it, right? So it says, for example, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. Repeat everybody, Tech Support. Tech, tech, tech support. support. There we go, excellent. So a Tech Support, it's this word that you have right here. All right, let me see. Tech Support. All right, how can I help you? Repeat it, how can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? All right. Esa es una de las frases que veíamos en el primer cuadrito que decía offer help, ofrecer ayuda. Remember? How can I help you? ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte? All right. Let's continue with Joe here. It says, hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Setting it up. What is setting it up, people? Setting it up. Configurandolo. Excuse me? What, can you repeat what we're trying? Configurandolo. Mejorandolo. Configurarse. Oh, configurarse. Yes, configurarlo. Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, creo que fue Mr. Moss. I couldn't hear you. All right. So let's see. Could you help me, please? Everybody, could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Uh -huh. How do you say that in Spanish? Podrías ayudarme, por favor. Exactly, right? It says, no problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? It's could you tell me? What is could you tell me? Podrías decirme. El modelo. Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Mira, hold on a second. What is hold on? Esperar. Mantenerte, esperarte. Exactly. All right. Hold on a second, please. Oh, it's an Ulti Peach MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Tenemos vocabulary. What is the power cord? Cable de poder. El power uh -huh. cord, it will be, for example, ese que tengo yo aquí. Let me zoom in, in from the computer. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. sí. Yes? Yes. That's yes. like the power cord, all right? So great. And then we have plug in. Repeat it, plug in. Conectado. Yes, that is correct. Plug in. All right, and then we got, all right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD is in the tray. And third, oh, look at this one. It's a new word. It says tray. What is tray? Mm hmm Hello, any idea? No? Don't worry, all right? Tray means bandeja. I'm going to write it here. Tray. Bandeja. Like this one. Ah, all right. It says this one. Thank you. And then we go on this one. And third one, there, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. 
And that's the whole message right here. All right, ready? So ya vimos el vocabulary. Ahora voy a repeat again, sin detenerme, right? Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem. Joe, could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Mm, it's an UltiPage MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD. It's in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Very good, excellent. So let's set this one quickly here, people. Uh, do you have questions in this one? ¿Qué dicen? Do you need time to practice? O le damos de un solo, ¿qué dicen? Hello, hello. Practice. No, practice. Okay, that easy. <laughs> All right, so no problem, no problem. We're gonna go back to the breakout rooms, ladies and gentlemen. Y seguimos practicing, all right? Toma a screenshot, picture. Let me know when you're ready. Ready, ready? Yes? Maybe. All right. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Go to the breakout rooms, or you can join it. Ana Luisa. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you for sending the pictures. Hello, hello. Teacher, me sacó. Oh, right now I will send you to the, where are you, Maria? Ana, creo que se llama la muchacha. You were with Nancy, no. Nancy, uh -huh. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Where are you, Maria? Mar oh, te voy a mandar a otro porque ya le puse a alguien a Nancy. Don't worry, okay? Okay. But I cannot find you. Where are you? Right, so let's see. No sé, pero de un solo me sacó. Maria, Maria. Where are you, Maria? Oh, here we are. All right, let me see. I'm going to send you to. Room number four. All right. There you go. Plugin, plugin, como era. Login. Okay. Eh, ya me quedé. Perdón. Mm -hmm. 
Es que hay una palabra bien difícil. Dígame cuál es, mucho gusto le ayudo. Eh, esa de plugin, creo que es. ¿Plugin? No, la, la de arriba. ¿Cuál? Donde dice, um, we receive the new printer. Ajá. And I need help setting it up. Setting, setting it up. Ajá. Setting it up. Setting it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. The meaning of plugging. Plugging conectado. Contado. Conectado. Mm -hmm. Conectado. Uh, Correct. Okay. Let me see if I have the chat here. Okay. Yes. Plugging. 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 Conectado. Okay. There you have it. Okay. Okay. Watching. Okay. Entonces seguimos. Comienzo otra vez. Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for this company. We receive the new printer. Um, I knew health setting. Setting up, could you help? Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me see. Let me see. Can you hold a second, please? Is a. Uh, Esa como se dice, teacher? Ulpeg. Which one? Uh, Ulti page. Como? Ul Ulti, Ulti page. Page, exactly. Mm -hmm. Ulti page. Okay, um, it's a uh, Ulti page MX30. Okay, I okay. will go to a different room. Since it's an ayuda, me llaman, all right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Última página. Ulti page. Así es, teacher. ¿Qué significa ulti Como page, teacher? Es el nombre de la, del modelo de la máquina. Ah. Oh. Última página. <risa> ulti page. Ah, es el modelo. Y yo buscando qué significaba. Estilo <risa> de la página. Holón. Holón dijo que era esperar. Holón. Holón. No, holón. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Con don. Hold on. Sería, can you hold on? Sería más o menos así. Hold on. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, con que quise el traductor. Ajá. Ajá. No, no, no soy yo. Right, so. Let's see. Hold on. Ah, hold on. Okay. Hold, hold on. No es hold on. Hold on, no. <risa> Se le olvidaba la D. All right, so hold on. Es que yo he escuchado una canción que tiene, así se llama, y dice hold on. <risa> <risa> All right, so good. Okay. All right. Um, any other question? Mm, no. no, teacher. No? No, solo tenía la duda con esto de ulti page, pero ya sabemos que es el modelo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very cool. No, pero si ahí está el traductor, hombre. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, excellent. So if you have questions, just call me. Okay. There you go. Bricks. Lo de. Hello. Mm, <laughs> gossiping, huh? Aquí charlando un poquito. Mm -hmm. Dara Bricks. Sobre Max. Dara Bricks. Uh -huh. Dara Bricks. <laughs> Dara Bricks. Data Bricks. Dije yo. Dara Bricks. <laughs> Ya, ve, aprendí a pronunciar eso. 
Sí. All right. siempre, he dicho, siempre he dicho data bricks. <risa> y es para. Siempre lo he dicho. Sí. O sea que ustedes uh, dos no about computer. Computers. Uh, yes. Ah, sí. Yes. Tenemos yeah. otro compañero, pero él se fue a otro grupo. Oh. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Juan Carlos. No me acuerdo cómo se. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá, Juan Carlos. Ah, sí. Right. I see. All right. No problem. Well, aquí tenemos los volunteers, entonces, para empezar. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Let's go back to the, to the class. All right. Okay, Bye. gracias. Bye. <laughs> hey, va bueno, <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, so people, acabo de descubrir algo in the new room aquí. All right, so people were gossiping, ya ven. All right, lástima que el, el, el Zoom siempre les avisa, recording in progress. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Very good, excellent. So, well, do I have volunteers, volunteers, volunteers? Mm -hmm. Los volunteers que me dijeron, yes. Ok, yes, Luis. <risa> aquí estoy, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Ok, ok. Vale, vamos a comenzar. Ok, you can do it, you can do it. Go ahead. Okay. I am Max. All right. Va. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pepscom. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Okay, let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Um, uh, it's an Ultipage MX30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Plugged in. Plug in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Mm, second, check that the installation CD is the tray. And here, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Bah. Bah. <laughs> right, so <laughs> thank you. That was actually a very good job. I have to congratulate you, Nancy. Super nice intonation. And Mr. Mose, I'm surprised, but in a good way, because your pronunciation is good. Um, do you practice English with the British accent? Mr. Mose? Uh me papa. Oh, really? So that's like British accent or Canadian? Perhaps Australian. Uh, no sé, él solo trabaja en una, en web help. Mm -hmm. All right, All great, right. excellent. But All yeah, right. you, have a, you have a really nice accent when it comes to like the pronunciation of the letters T, All right? So you go like T is max from tax support. I like it. It's very good. You do good. Excellent. And Nancy? Thanks. 
Very good job with the intonation as well. All right, so just with some words. For example, it's not plug get, it's like plugged in. Plugged, repeat, plugged in. Plugged in. There you go, excellent. Plugged Thank you guys, in. congratulations. Plugged good job, good job, all right. Anybody else, anybody else? Hello, Anna Elizabeth and Carlita, right? Carlita, yes. yes. All right. Okay. There you go, girls. All right, so go ahead, please. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tick Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on? Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a multi page MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Plugged in. Yes. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD in Easing Detroit and fear once the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete install. All right, excellent, super good job. I really like it, that was very good. Carlita, nice intonation. Good job with the pronunciation as well. Super nice intonation, right? Like, could you please tell me what I need to do next? I like it, super nice, all right? Uh, and Elizabeth as well, very good job with this one. Uh, pronunciation, the same word I mentioned Nancy before, right? So plugged in, plugged in, all right? Then other than that, you were doing good. Thank you, my friend. That was actually super good, all right? So um, anybody else? Volunteer, volunteer? Come on, people. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. No volunteers. No, me ahorita me más. All right. My next volunteer, it will be the last person who shows me a notebook. Notebook, 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 notebook. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. Notebook, 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 notebook. Un notebook, un notebook. On the camera, un notebook. All right, let's see. Que es un notebook, people. Ahí está Carla. Ajá. Rano. Ana Luisa. Maria, will be Maria. Hello, Maria. <laughs> Maria, who are you working with? Uh, William. All right, William. Hi. Okay, whenever you're ready, go ahead. William, you are Max. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How I can, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peace.com. We received the new printer and, and I need heading set up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Mm -hmm. uh, it's an alt place, Max Story. Okay, first make sure that the power core is plugged, plugged, plugged in. in, plugged in. All right, it is cool. You tell me what I need to do next, please. Second, check the the installation, the installation CD is in the right and there owns the menu uppers on the screen. Click or complete install. Click. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. So guys, you did a good job, right? As well, pronouncing that one. So now just be careful with this one. Uh, William, it has to be a... Uh, 
plugged in. Repeat it, plugged in. Plugged plug in. in. Exactly. Porque se pronuncia como plug, right? La I no va a la U, sino que es como una O. Plugged in. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. And Maria, por ahí me dijo un, un holón. All right. If that's the <laughs> All right. So hold, on. hold on. Repeat it. Hold, hold on. on. Hold on. All right. Exactly. Por ahí alguien explicaba eso. That was not like hold on, sino que like hold on. Hay que pronunciar la D en esa palabra, like this one. Hold on. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Um, let's see this one. So, yes, we have time for one more. Who's going to be that one? Maria, please select someone. Um, Marta Marisol. <laughs> Marta <¿Qué va> Marisol. <laughs> Irma. There you go. So. Oh my goodness. Mauricio. Mauricio. Mauricio Ruano. All right. Él empieza, oh. bro. Okay. Good. Okay. Hello, this is Matt from Teach Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joy. I work for Pipscom. We received the new printer in 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 I need help. I need help setting up. Could you help me, please? Mm -hmm. No problem, George. Can you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold hold on a second, please? Who is a multi page Max City? Okay, Chris made sure that the power cord is plugging. All right, it is called. You tell me what I need to do next, please. Second check the this installation CD is in the dryer and three on the menu. Appear on the screen, click on complete installation. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. You were doing a very good job. Let me give you a recommendation so you can improve, all right? Let's respect the punctuation, like the periods, the commas. For example, I went to me dijo, all right, it is Could You tell me what I need to do next, please. All right, so the un solo. And it's like, all right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? All right, so esas pequeñas pausas, dependiendo si tengo un punto o una coma, para sonar mejor when I'm speaking, right? O por ejemplo, like, no problem, Joe, could you tell me what the model? No, no problem, Joe. Could you tell me the, pro the model? All right, so just like that one. With the pronunciation in general, you're good. Certain words, algunas palabritas, right? But in general, it was good. So, la punctuation, please. Thank you very much, Irma and Mauricio, for participating. Antes de que se vayan, voy a pasar la asistencia here. Hoy sí, don Kevin puede decir present. All right. So, <laughs> Apner Molina. Is he here, Apner? Yes, he's there. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. La Alexa. Present teacher. There you go. Excellent. Eh, Ana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ana Luisa, thank you. Uh -huh. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mr. Camacho. No, he was not here today. All right. David Innocente. Present teacher. Hello, David. Thank you. All right. Eh, Neftali. Is it Neftali here? No, right? Not here. One second. All right. Oh my goodness, this thing. All right, Erlin Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. All right, Irma. Yes. Present, teacher. Contentísimo de pasar, volunteer. All right, so let's see. Jose Daniel Castro. No, all right, good. Excellent. So, uh, Jose Francisco Ordonez, couldn't come. Uh, Carla Milena. 
Present teacher. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Bueno, dijo present. <laughs> All right, so. Pero ahí está. All right, good. Excellent. So, Maria Castro. Present teacher. All right, Marta Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Ruano. Present teacher. Oh, Nancy Katia Maria. Present teacher. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Oh my goodness. Eh, Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Not here. All right. Excellent. So, Sandra Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Oops. Eh, Sonia Martínez. Sonia, Sonia. Present teacher. Thank you. And the last one, Mr. William Giovanni. Present. Thank you, everybody. So we are going to stop right here because it's time to go over there. All right. So now before you go home, all right. Me desconecte, me desconecte un par. All right. So let's do this one right here. So we go on this one. Let's just go ahead and check this one right here. Do you see it, people? All right. Just send your reaction. That like this one. Now, can I use can and cool for requests? Remember, yes with occasional help or with only with help. Tell me, please, you send your reaction and then you can go to sleep, all right? Thank you, thank you, notebook, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Annalisa, Erlene. Thank you, Sonia, for reacting as well. Thank you, Sandra. All right, excellent. So. We are going to stop right here, everybody. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework and the test. All right, so bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, good night, good night class. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mauricio and Abner and Sonia. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care.